we've all been in those Skype Zoom or any of those calls and there's like tons of noise and dirt on the mics and everyone sounds awful. I want to show you how to get the best sound for your online meetings and your streaming content using tools that we haven't talked about before and guess what? We're going to do it all for free. We're all here right now, and I'm sure only a handful of you have heard about Zoom before this mess. It's actually been around since 2011, but now it's set to become synonymous with this period of time. The trouble with all of these meeting services is that there's not much you can do to make your mic sound good. This process will allow you to use your professional grade plugins to make your voice sound as if you're in a studio session. We need some tools to get the process rolling. Firstly, you'll have to download two software packages. They are free and are both incredibly brilliant in their own right. Firstly, the YouTuber's greatest secret, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. It's like having a TV studio control room in your computer. It is an amazing piece of kit for both recording and streaming your content. Download and install it. We'll put the links below. The next piece of software I want you to download is Source Nexus Free. Unfortunately, it's only available for the Mac. I'm sure you can get another virtual audio driver for your PC or Linux machine. Now, we're ready to go. This is OBS. This is uh, for any content producers, anyone doing classes, anyone doing anything online for either recording your show or streaming your show to YouTube or to uh, Facebook Live or anything. This is an amazing piece of kit. It's a free open source piece of software, which is absolutely incredible. You can grab sources from pictures, videos, webcams. And the thing I love about it is there's loads of audio sources that you can draw on. And it's gotten me out of a few sticky situations as regards putting things together, you know. Um, and that's why we'll look at this again. We'll look at different aspects of OBS. Amazing piece of kit for what it is and, you know, that it's open uh, source. Let me just look at how, um, very briefly, at how it works. Because it works in scenes and each scene has its own specific elements. Okay, so um, I want to set up a scene. And it's just going to be our microphone because when we set up that scene, focusing on that microphone, we'll be able to set up our um, filters, our EQ, our compression. And I'm thinking, why don't we put on some noise reduction as well? Because imagine you're in an office or you're in a, a large room, air conditioning going on, cars outside. It would be nice to have a bit of noise reduction in there. So now we're really tightening the vocal sound that's going to Zoom, to Facebook, to Skype, to all of these different things. So you've installed two pieces of software. Let's start looking at how OBS works very briefly. And then we'll set up the microphone setup and get it out of OBS and into Zoom or Facebook or any of these, these uh, things that you're using for your meetings. So as I said, it works on scenes. And these scenes work um, collectively. So scene one is me and my webcam. So as you can see here, I've set up my webcam. But I also don't want the webcam audio. What I want is the webcam, uh, the quality audio from my, from my audio interface. And that's what I set up there. So I went and I clicked and I went to audio input capture and I set up my Steinberg interface. Um, and you'll see the meters here from the Steinberg, it's labeled there. That's great. I, I type that in so I know what I'm looking at. And if it's too late, you just pull down the slider, you bring back up the slider. But if I was creating content and I'm talking about the Adorama website, I can flick over to the Adorama website whilst I'm still talking to you. And then I can reduce, come back to you and I'm saying, oh, but did you see about the scene? Or the, did you see about the, what do you call it? Um, sale that they have on or the exclusive by emails that they got going on. Let's set up a new scene new scene collection, which is really handy. So we're going to go Zoom meeting. And then we did that. Didn't even spell it right. Anyway, what are you going to do? 
So there's our scene. So what I want to do is I want to pull in my audio interface, audio input capture, and then I set the device to be my Steinberg. Okay. So there's my Steinberg. Next thing we need to do is set up some filters on here. And these filters are going to be my EQ and my compression and my this and my that. So then we go here and we go to, they have built in compressors, expanders, etc. Noise gates and suppression, which is all good. Noise gates, basically, um, it hears your voice and it opens up and I'm talking and talking and I stop talking. It closes down. And then I start talking again and it opens up and that lets the signal flow. But as soon as I stop talking, so it gives you the sense of um, pulling out all the ambient noise around you. We can kind of get sucking noises or at the end of words and sentences and stuff like that. Noise suppression is noise suppression. It just suppresses it by a, a certain amount of um, decibelization. Decibelization, that's a new one. So this is my... There's all my VST plugins. And these are all plugins that I have in my machine. Um, so imagine I just went to Ozone 8. And I only went to Ozone 8 because there's a couple of um, modules in this, EQ, compression, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that would be able to get me that studio sound onto my microphone straight away. Okay? So open the plugin interface. Just waiting for it to open. or opened on the other monitor. I have my equalizer, dynamics, maximizer. So now I set up my beautiful microphone sound in the system. Now it's in OBS. Brilliant. I'm going to close that plugin and I'm going to set up some noise reduction around us. Not the internal, but the expensive ones that I paid for. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go VS2, VST2 plugin, noise. And I managed to spell that well as well. My God, I'm on a roll. So then I went down to here, which is voice denoiser. And that pulls out sh loads of noise really, really well and preserves the voice incredibly well. So um, all that noise, feel that building rumble, etc., etc., etc. I'm pulling that all out now by 12 dB. And there's my threshold. So... In OBS, I'm setting up the quality of my microphone, the quality of my signal. We've done that. It sounds amazing. I'm loving the whole thing. We've noise reduction in there, compression. It sounds like I'm in a studio now. The next thing to do is, and this is really, really, really important, we go to advanced settings and we go to monitor on, monitor output, close that. And then we go to settings. And this is really important as well, because if you go to audio, go to monitor device, and there is the source nexus that you just installed. Not the Steinberg, not the Dell, source nexus. So that is sending a, a signal from behind OBS. You're taking the signal from behind OBS and it's routing it through somewhere in your computer. And that's the virtual audio lead that we've just installed this Source Nexus free, okay? So I'm setting it up there. That's great. I okay it. That's OBS. We're done with OBS. We've set up our level. We've set up our routing, okay, which is really simple. It's when you sit down, you do it, and you go, go through the video slowly. It'll just go, bang. Oh, well, yeah, it is. It's easy, easy, easy. So I'm just going to jump over to Zoom. That's not that. That's that. There's my meeting. I'm about to set up my meeting with whoever. I go to my settings, preferences. There's your video, which is whichever your video source would be. I, I'm sure you've seen these settings before. Your audio settings, okay? There's your test, your speaker, which is my Steinberg, which is my audio interface. I want to hear the conversation in the room, okay? So that's fine, absolutely fine. There's my level I'm coming in or out. This is the one I want you to deal with. Generally, they will have it same as the system, okay? But what we're doing is we're switching to source nexus. Now we're grabbing the signal from OBS and into your meeting. And now you have fabulous sound in your meeting. You've got your EQ, your compression, all your super duper plugins on your microphone, plus noise suppression. So everyone around you in the office or everyone in the conference room are all dubbed down. So they're hearing your voice specifically. So you've got a much better quality 
mic signal going down the line. And Zoom quality audio is very, very good in comparison to an awful lot of services. So that's it. That's how you set it up. Virtual drivers are a really handy tool to have in any machine. They can help you in a multitude of jobs. OBS is one of the most helpful tools that I've ever come across, considering even that it's free. It's really worth exploring further if you're producing any sort of content for any platform. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, you can comment or you can share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. And if you have any questions with all your audio production or any of the difficulties you're having with any software, put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you sooner than later.